Today in this video, I'm showing you my five favorite ways to rig the Nico baits. Let's go. On this one right now, I am running the Nico Craw, and this color is Magma. This is on the skirted jig, one of the best ways right now to be going. Magma, if you didn't know this, think about it. Right now, this time of year, fall, the molt is on, the males are shedding their skins, and this is their color. Identical, identical to what they look like right now in the water. Go look. Nobody has a red craw like that to mimic that molt color. Pair that with a skirted jig, you'll be slaying them. On this one, I am rocking the Eclipse. This is still the Nico Craw. This one is weighted, this one's a weighted Texas, but that's just the bullet weight. You could run this straight, weightless, or you could even throw this on top water. This looks identical to a frog coming across. Those pincers are always free moving and going. Best thing though, when running it with a bullet weight, having it down on that bottom, this time of year, all those craws are up and in the defensive position. And this right here, the most buoyant you will ever see. Right up, looking like it's ready to attack and a bass will just eat it up. All right, this one right here, this is the tadpole on the drop shot. This one is mud bug. Right here, you'll see we had the other three colors that it comes in. Comes in the Fusion, the Galaxy, and the Obsidian as well. The Obsidian, I'm telling you right now, that, whew, the most potent scent you would ever smell on a plastic, it's insane. Right here, running around, around 18 inches on the regular drop shot weight, perfect. Don't even need to worry about that. If it's going shallower, drop it down. These are so buoyant, it'll stay up constantly float and if you have any issues with the slipping off of that hook go ahead do not be afraid to add a little bit of glue onto it because it'll keep it nice and tight and it'll constantly stay floating on to our fourth way this right here is the midwest finesse commonly known as the ned rig now before you go ahead and try to switch off or fast forward check this out this is the helgramite in obsidian ridiculously potent scent check out the stirability Come on, nothing, no one else can give you that type of stretch, durability, comeback. Now, the other great thing about this right now, it's buoyant. Now, if you're, especially if you're a beginner to the Ned Rig, the Midwest Finesse, this right here is the best bait for you. It is so buoyant, you have no problem bouncing it along the bottom and still keeping that tail up, helping you practice get through all those different areas and get those bass. Now on to my last, it's number five, my all-time favorite way of being able to rig these because you cannot do this with any other bass from on the market, I guarantee it. This is the Nico rig. Now right now I do have the nail weight in the tip, but in this unique body, it's hollow. And if you see the holes right there, I bet you don't see something else that's common to these is that O-ring. With these, you do not need it you're able to bring it right through these O and come right through and have it stay perfectly locked in that position. And then as you're coming through, look at that stretch. Extra durable, stays in place, never having an issue. Where else can you get that? Plus you constantly have that fantastic action, always staying down as you're coming through that hook is still staying semi-weedless and protected. So you have nothing to worry about. Hookup ratio is fantastic without the no weed guard, no extra things in the way, right and basic to the hook. Always have a perfect hook set. All right guys, before we go and wrap this video up, I have a question for you. Have you tried these Nico baits? If you have, please, in the comments below, let me know if you have, let me know your favorite style of rigging it, and also which one is your favorite. Now to wrap this up, 
please do not think that any of these styles are seclusive or exclusive to each one. You can rig any of these either way. Right here, that is the Bass Worm. That is on the Midwest Finesse, the Ned Rig. You can cut it, bring it down the size. You have the craw on the skirted jig like that. You could put a Nico on this as well. You can do it so many different ways. The Helgramite, drop shot it. The Tadpole, switch it up. Don't be afraid this time of year to switch it up. If you're used to throwing a skirted jig, maybe just dial it down a bit. Maybe throw it on the drop shot. Changing that little appearance right there, make a whole world of difference. Now, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that button below, the little bell next to it. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. And please get over to Nico Fishing, get these products ASAP because they will be going out fast. So don't miss out on all the action. Thanks. Thank you.